All right, I mentioned another video, so here's another video on Miraculous, which we're going to again talk, but this time we're going to concentrate on the fact of there is a new hawk moth in town in the future. So this hawk, so we get like a little bit more pieces of the puzzle. So number one, we already have Marinette now the sole guardian, which means she is now the leader of the group officially. So that means that, does she? No, she doesn't have the book. Yeah, she doesn't get to have the book back still. Yeah, sadly, he got the book still. Hogmoth has the book still. So she has more potential now, but she doesn't really truly know the ways. All she knows is just a few things. She doesn't know everything when it comes to Akumas and Kwamis and stuff like that. She needs the freaking damn book, but oh well. But she is now the freaking leader of the group. She's now the one that, if anything happens, she knows where to go and all that stuff. And if you haven't seen the last season of season three, the last two episodes, oh my gosh, you need to see the last two episodes. So we're going way back. I think this was actually in season three where we get to the person who actually is the villain that can go back in time. So he already mentioned that there's a new Hawk Moth in town, and the new Hawk Moth is not, yeah, it's not him. <laughs> yeah, it's not Adrian's dad. It's someone new. So who can be the new person? Who's going to be the new Hawk Moth? Well, it gets interesting, and it gets a little bit, and it gets very interesting, where it's like, okay, so the reason why he quits being Hawk Moth is either A, he did what he wanted to do, his wife is back, and who knows what's going to happen with his secretary. This is going to be a crazy love triangle. Or the fact of where he officially stops, he's happy, he's content, he's going to stop doing this. And, well, the person who is like, oh, well, no, you're not. Well, it's like, oh, well, you're going to stop, then I'm taking this. Freak you. And then now new Hawk Moth. So it has to be Lyra. We gotta admit this. It has to be Lyra as the new Hawk Moth. We can go with Chloe, but I doubt it. It's like Chloe freaked over everyone and she knows identities and everything else. But even so, it's like you can't really think it's Chloe who's gonna do it. It's like Chloe does hate, she does hate Ladybug. She officially cancels her, her out. Hawk Moth, however, there is a little bit of a little bit small allegiance to it. So that means that she wouldn't be able to actually truly take down Hawk Moth. Maybe, but I kind of doubt it. I have to believe it's Lyra. I have to believe it's Lyra. Lyra is the freaking new Hawk Moth. And it's going to take, like, I don't know. If, it's like, if Ladybug was actually a an adult at this case, then... You gotta kind of figure, then that means that he's going to be Hawk Moth until, like, college, or even after the college years. So that means that he got a decent span, but that doesn't really mean that he's still going to do it. It's like, for all we know, he could be dethroned in Season th 4, Season 5, and as soon as that happens, Lyra takes in the helm, and now it's Lyra. And that's the person that is going against Ladybug even to the adult years, which means that Lyra has become very, very formidable. Is there going to be a new person in town? Maybe, maybe. Could it be Adrian's cousin? Possibly. It possibly could be Adrian's cousin, but I think he's going to be in a straight and narrow nowadays. Well, he did steal the ring, so not necessarily. So we do have a bunch of suspects. We do have many clues on who's going to be. But I'm pretty sure for right now, I'm going to say it's Lyra. Lyra is going to backstab. Lyra is capable of backstabbing. And, well, she already knows about freaking Kwamis and everything. It's like, yes, Chloe does too. But I'm pretty sure Chloe won't actually, she won't overthrow Hawk Moth. She might, she might be able to, but I doubt it. I'm pretty sure it's more like Lyra's going to do this. 
But who knows? Maybe Lyra needs a second in command, just like how Hogpuff has a second in command. And if so, then I'm pretty sure that Chloe might actually be partnered up with Lyra. They might actually partner up together. The only thing is, is that then that means that Chloe and Lyra will have to actually team up. But then it's like, what about her friend? Chloe has a friend. She just can't all of a sudden just break off with her friend and go with Lyra. So I doubt there's going to even be anything else. I really hope the Peacock Miraculous can be recovered later on. And it's like, well, there you go. Hawk Moth only just has one. In quotations, Hawk Moth. Future Hawk Moth only has one Miraculous, not two. And... Well, the only other way is that if Lyra or whoever's new Hawk Moth is able to duel, duel two of them, two Miraculous at once, which possibly, but we would have saw that in, I forgot the name of the bad guy, but the Kumitai's person, but I'm like, yeah, but Time Tracker or something? Well, anyways, I'm pretty sure if it really was a possibility, then that person would have been infused with both, not just one, but both, both of the powers at the same time. He was already powerful enough. So, yeah, I don't know, man. Oh, I can't really tell you. All I can say is that my money is on Lyra being the new Hawk Moth. Will they ever actually answer us? No. They want to keep it open-ended. And as soon as the series ends, it's like... It continues on, but we don't get to see anything. All we get to see is the fact of what happens at the very end when um, uh, Marinette and also Adrian decides to both quit being heroes and pass it on. She's going to get an old age and she's going to lose all her memory of everything. And it's like, holy frick. Jeez, man. There has to be a different way of things. As for Adrian, not sure how that goes. I mean, that's the weirdest part is the fact of if you're a guardian, you lose all your memories. But if you're a a miraculous wielder, you don't get to lose your memory at all. No, you're able to just give it back and that's it. And it's like, damn, that sucks. So only guardians get to lose their all their memory. And it's like, is that really necessary? But of course, when it comes to him, he has to be out of the equation now. So that means that, yes, he has to lose all his memories, especially since they know who he is, which that sucks. But at least we got to see him actually don a miraculous gear or uniform or don the power, which that was pretty cool. But just, man, that last episode, you definitely need to watch it if you didn't. But, man, there's just so many clues, but I'm leaning towards Lyra being the freaking bad guy. I'm luring to her. There's many other suspects, definitely. And if they introduce more in season four, which I bet they will, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Lyra. I mean, she's definitely going to be capable of doing that, and she's definitely capable of backstabbing Chloe. Not really. Now, by some craziness, if Chloe's friend is the person, that would be an interesting twist of all of a sudden she decides to become Hawk Moth. Now that's a good one. That would be a good one. Oh, man, that would be a good one. We already saw that happen once. But other than that, I say Lyra. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I really hope you guys did. If you have any clues of who it is, Comment down below. Tell me the episode too. I would love to look at it. I think I only missed one episode. Maybe two. But other than that, I think I'm good to go.